it, man, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. What's up, guys? Swan Leader back with another video. I had a company called Yafex reach out to me and ask me to review their USB Type C hub, and I was anxious to take a look. So, without further ado, here is my review of the Yafex USB C hub. All right, so let's check this thing out. Uh, like I said, this is from a company called Yafex, and it is a USB Type C hub. It gives you HDMI, two USB 3.0s, and an SD and a micro SD card reader. Uh, the packaging's pretty nice. Um, comes packaged here. You have like a little viewing window on the outside. That gives you a little description of um, all the capabilities. Uh, HDMI supports 4K and 2K at 30 hertz. Obviously also supports 1080i, uh, 1080p, and 720p. Uh, so it notes USB 3.0 transmission speeds at 5 gigabit. Um, downward compatible to also support USB 2.0. Uh, that's obviously going to depend on whatever you have plugged in. So, um, and then also, it also lists the uh, SD and micro SD TF card reader functionality. Let's pop this boy open and take a look at it. See uh, some Yafex branding there on the top. And then we have our two USB 3.0 ports, um, full size SD card, micro SD card. And then the HDMI port is here on the other, on the, uh, the smaller side. Nothing on this opposite side. Now, first impressions, uh, the build quality is incredible. Uh, this seems like solid aluminum. Um, USB type C connector is a single piece of metal. So you don't have the, um, the joint in the middle like the seam so I know that um, from my experience USB-C cables and anything USB-C that has that jointed um, the jointed metal on the connector they don't last nearly as long um, let me see I think I have an example this is a USB type C cable that I got it's uh, braided nice cable that I got for my LG V20 to charge it and as you can see there's a seam there on that connector so when when looking at type C devices if you want to know how you know a good a good gauge of quality check the type C connector if it's a solid piece of metal then you're generally looking at a pretty good quality product whereas if it has that seam it's usually much less reliable um, first impressions, very good build quality, reinforced joints on the cable portion, so you can uh, pretty much guarantee that it's not going to wear out at those joints. I'll do some comparisons, uh, maybe do some screen recording on my computer, test the speeds that we get with my USB card reader that I have installed uh, in the front of my system and then we'll plug this in via USB type C and see what the differential is there. And yeah, so let's get this thing plugged in. I will record my screen on, on my desktop and we will take a look and see uh, what we can expect performance wise. All right, so I've actually decided to record video for this one, so let's get going. Uh, right here I have the SD card um, that was in the camera that I shot the first um, the first look at this in. and first we're gonna get a baseline um, for this memory card to see how it does with the card reader in my rig right here so I'm just gonna pop this in alright so let's open up uh, we're gonna open up crystal disk mark and see um, what kind of speeds we get on 
on this drive in Crystal Disk Mark. All right, so now we have the card in the card reader and it is selected in Crystal Disk Mark. We're just gonna run five pass, 50 megabytes, and we're gonna see what we get for uh, speed on here. And then we're gonna throw it into the, um, the USB type C hub and see what we get with it uh, in there. All right, so 41 and 40. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pop the card out and put it into the USB-C hub, and then we will try again. All right, so this actually shows up as USB drive J when plugged into that uh, card reader as opposed to the other one that we were using. So let's open up uh, Crystal Disk Mark again. And we will choose USB drive J. <clears throat> same folder we used the first time around, same everything. And we're gonna run this and see what we get for speeds. So 94.28 on the read speeds and 60.56 on the write speeds. So uh, that is uh, 40 megabytes per second or 50 megabytes per second faster read speeds and 20 megabytes per second faster write speed. So that's a considerable difference. So let's try to pull a file off of this. We'll see what we get for uh, speed here. So this is one of the files. It's one gigabyte file. I'm just gonna pull it out here onto my desktop. And we'll take a look at what we get. Yes, we're right around that uh, 90 megabytes per second read speed because this is uh, it's copying over to an SSD. So you would expect to see something right around the uh, the throughput maximum there. All right, so let me uh, let me throw a USB 3.0 drive. I'm going to put it into the USB 3 uh, 3.0 port on the front of my computer. We're going to do a test on that, and then we're going to test USB 3.0 on the hub itself. Let me get that set. All right, so we get the USB 3.0 drive. It's right here. Storage the L drive. So. Let's once again open up uh, Crystal Disk Mark, and we're gonna do a test on this drive and see, um, just see what we get for, see what we get for read and write speeds on, on the drive. Uh, plug directly into a USB 3.0 port on the front of my computer and then we will try it again. And this is a USB 3.0 drive. All right, so we're right around 139 megabytes per second on the read and 66.6 .6 on the write. So now I'm gonna pull this thing out, plug it into uh, the USB-C hub, and we're gonna see what we get for speeds there. All right, so we have it hooked up again. It still shows as storage because it's labeled. Uh, we're gonna open up Crystal Disk Mark, and we're gonna try it again and see what we get now so it's plugged now into the USB type C hub all right so uh, plugged into the USB type C hub we're actually seeing speeds pretty much right within the margin of error uh, so that's good to know that those USB 3.0 ports don't lose there's no degradation in the uh, in the connection and uh, they are true USB 3.0 speed uh, unfortunately, I don't have anything to test the uh, HDMI signal over USB Type-C, um, so we're not going to be able to test that out, but uh, yeah, so that's going to do it for this portion of the video. Alright, so all in all, it's a good product, it's built well, it performs well, and for the money, it's a really good option. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you like it, put a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Follow me on Twitter, and I will check you guys in the next one. Swan Leader signing out.